Let's take a look at some examples of the analog behavioral model voltage source, also known as the ABM source. This is one of the most flexible devices you can find. I'll begin by showing you how to actually find the component. First select all groups and all families, type in ABM in the component search box and pull out the ABM voltage. Also for this demonstration, I'll make use of the AC voltage source. Go ahead and place that. Now you may or may not have the virtual components toolbar handy. I'll show you how to get that pulled up just in case it's not. So you might be looking at it this way. Simply right click and choose virtual. So to finish up my little circuit here, I'll need to ground both of my sources. And then I'll establish a, a wire or a net for each one of these sources. I'll name this one VABM and we need to show the net names. And I'll name this one VS for a signal source. To view these voltage sources, I'll place a two input at the oscilloscope. We'll look at the AC source on channel A and the ABM source on channel B. And I'll ground the other ends of the oscilloscope inputs. And lastly, I need to make this 100 hertz for my demonstration circuit. All right, let's see how we're doing. Of course, the sinusoidal trace is associated with the AC source. To make these easier to distinguish, right click and choose color segment. Go ahead and continue using red for the ABM trace. And I'll change this one to blue. I'll change my volts per division so I can see the waveforms a little better. And also I want to slide the AC source down just a little lower so we can keep these two traces distinct. All right, first of all, so I open up the ABM voltage source. We're looking at the value. It's presently set to one. That's why we're seeing that constant amplitude signal there. So let me show you some techniques. You can access a voltage by name using V, open parentheses, give the name of the net, in this case VS, and then close parentheses. Now we see the source is essentially uh, sensing, so to speak, the AC source and duplicating it. You can apply math operators. Let me apply a gain of minus two. So we see the waveform is flipped and amplified. You can also apply a wide variety of functions. I'll change this to three times and then include the function ABS for absolute value. And a little bit later, I'll show you where you can look up all the various functions that are available. You can also use time and create functions of time. If I just type in time by itself, we can sort of perceive that it's changing there. Let me increase the rate of uh, the slope there. I'll multiply time by 50. And definitely we see that linear ramp. Other important functions include the unit step function, u of t. And this unit step is starting right at time zero. 
we might want to shift that so it turns on a little bit later, in this case at 20 milliseconds. Boom, there it goes, right there. Uh, other things we might try is a uh, pretty elaborate function in this case. This one's based on an exponential. I can control the time constant right here. And then I can also toss in some other step functions that turn on and off at different times. This way I get a truncated ex uh, decaying exponential. Okay, let me wrap up by showing you where you can find further information on all of the functions available for the ABM source. Search multi-sim help, and I'm typing in the word mathematical. Look carefully through the list and you'll find mathematical expressions. And follow that link. And I strongly encourage you to study in detail all of the available functions that, that you have at your disposal. You'll see there's quite a long list. Uh, here you recognize the step function that we were using earlier. And notice that it has some alternative names available. Here's where we're picking off the voltage elsewhere in the circuit. You could also do the same thing with current. Continuing down the list, we have a variety of mathematical operations that you can perform. And finally, here at the bottom, we see the current time in the simulation. That's what we were using as the basis for the step function behavior. You can also find a PDF manual of the multi-sim help document at ni.com. Search on the part number that I was just showing you. Have fun with the ABM source.